What's going on, y'all? It's killing, man. <clears throat> I didn't sleep in the truck last night. Got me a hotel room. First time doing that. Um, it's a big difference, man, between waking up in the truck and waking up in the room. <clears throat> it's tough. It's it's tough uh, living out of a truck, man. Being OTR, you know. I can I, I, I understand and, and know why a lot of people don't want to stick with it, you know, because it's a totally different uh, type of living. It's a it's a totally different type of living, man. <clears throat> I, I I can understand and empathize for the with the man that is like, man, I can learn me a trade and. Uh, go up and down a ladder all day and, you know, have the company pay for a hotel room because, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the companies, man, shoot, a lot of the companies, I would imagine a lot of the companies ask expect too much from the from the driver man without enough compensation man to 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 just change uh you know like a a normal way of life or living and exchange that for for living in a truck living out of a truck you know it's not a big surprise to me that most people if if they can they 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 may rather want to to uh, pursue some kind of profession where they, you know, <clears throat> you know, learn a trade or be become a join an apprentice program, join an apprentice program, you know, get an electrical, uh, you know, get under somebody and, and, and learn how to weld or, you know, stuff like that versus driving a truck where you can't go home and the companies they, they don't pay in my opinion like the the you know I mean they pay they pay I'm not saying that I'm not saying that but I'm all I'm saying all I'm saying is this is that uh Truck drivers are worth more than 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 what than what they than what they're normally worth. Oh, uh, getting paid, man, for real. You know, simple as that. That's all I'm saying. <clears throat> they uh keep on talking about a driver shortage, <clears throat> but I I believe what the other person says it's more of a driver retention problem. People come out here. And uh, <clears throat> they come out here, and they, you know, it gets real. Living out of a truck, you know, having having home time scheduled, and then and then not being able to get home at that particular day, or uh, just you know, always. Always having to, uh, you know, if you're with some kind of company that that doesn't use a, uh, consistently the same, the same, uh, you know, truck stops, you know, you might have to, you might have to pay for your own showers and stuff like that. You know, either way, you have to pay for your own showers. Hopefully. You, you got it set up to where you're getting your free points and you're getting free showers, but you know, just being out here, you got to pay for your own showers, man. You know, you're always got having to buy food. It being out here drains you, drains you sometimes for money, man. It can drain you. It can drain you. And like what I'm doing right here, man, this definitely, def this is my first time ever doing this, getting a hotel room while being out on the road. I was feeling kind of sick, 
and I knew I was gonna be, be uh, waiting in the truck. So, uh, I was gonna be waiting for my trailer to get unloaded. I dropped my trailer, but it's my first time ever doing this. But anyhow, look, I got a, a, a presentation for the month of May I wanna share with y'all. I'm fixing to do that right now. I'm fixing to go to my, uh, I, I, we made the presentation on slide.